Welcome to Privilege Catamarans, I'm Rob Poirier. And today I wanna to talk about the things you don't see at the boat show. But more importantly to me, is I wanna tell you what questions I want you to ask me at the boat show. Because I'll have to say, when you're selling a boat like a privilege, it's very frustrating that people don't ask you the questions that really reflect on the brand. And the fact is the way a privilege is built is truly at a different standard than most boats out there today. So these are the questions that I want you to ask. And these are the things you don't normally see at the boat show. The reason I'm raising the subject is because there's a really good boat show a couple of weeks from now in France. It's the International Multi-Hull Show in La Grande Mutte. And it runs from April 20th to the 24th. I'm telling you this because we're going to be presenting a beautiful new Privilege 580 at this show. So let's start with the area that really matters most, of course. And that is the lay up the hull index and the bulkheads and such. At Privilege, we've always built our boats using a vacuum resin infusion process. This is really important because it really determines the durability and strength of your yacht. Everybody knows it's a way to make a boat lighter and stronger, but by doing it this way, we also make a hull and deck much stronger for the liveaboard long distance sailor because durability is really gonna matter for a boat like that. And it goes beyond that. It's also the materials that we're using. All our coring is closed cell foam. We, you will never find um, plywood bulkheads. You're not gonna find any balsa in our construction. You're gonna find even in the compound curves that we've used that foam everywhere. Also take a look at the way we tab in all the bulkheads. Even minor secondary bulkheads you'll see are made from a panel using that exact same infusion process. This guarantees that you have similar materials being bonded together because dissimilar materials don't like each other. So bonding fiberglass hulls to wood bulkheads can be problematic. So by having the exact same material being taped together, we can ensure durability, more strength, and of course, a longer lasting hull. If you look at the tabbing process on some of the videos you're looking at, you will see that we're doing that taping deep right into the bottom of the bilges. Um, some of these photos have painting, but you can still make out all that extra tabbing work, that fiberglass work that goes deep into those crevices. This takes a lot more time, and that's why it takes so much time to build these boats. The other thing is that we want to also assemble things while everything is still relatively green, because fiberglass has a curing process, and we want everything to cure together, the hull, those bulkheads, that deck when it's attached, so that when it's all completed and when it's dried out, it is one component instead of a lot of pieces that have been you know, basically screwed and glued together, which you're going to find on a production class boat. You'll notice that even though the bulkheads are made of a closed cell foam coring, there are a lot of places where you do need to mount mechanical systems and you don't want to crush coring ever. So you'll see that we have glassed into place uh, pieces of marine ply as a landing for those kind of attachments. You'll also see this often around doorways where door frames are mounted because otherwise you would be crushing the coring, which you want to avoid. So when you're looking at that layup of the hull, for example, you'll notice that there's places where we've deliberately omitted um, that, that coring. And that's again, because we know there's gonna be a landing position there to receive some kind of weighted or mechanical device. You'll notice also on this bulkhead where there has been a piece of wood inserted that that wood has been perforated the same as the coring itself. This is again, so that when the vacuum process is being done, we are literally pulling resin right through those wood components. So they're very well protected. Another place to notice this is in something that's very secondary, like this plywood framing that's gonna simply support some ceiling panels. But you'll notice that we have epoxied all the open end grain just to make sure there can be no moisture migrating in that wood as well. So these steps and this extra effort that goes into the most important part of your boat is fundamentally what's making a privilege a privilege. And it is really the area that really requires the most effort and energy in building a yacht, especially a yacht that's gonna be used for the purposes that most of our customers use these boats for. Another area that really matters is of course, furniture and joinery because this again is something that we like to brag about at Privilege of the fact that so much of this can be custom done, but what is done is done to fit the boat properly. In fact, I like to point out that the people that work in the carpentry shop are actually working in the glass shop during the installation of bulkheads 
because they want to make sure that the positioning is very accurate. What you will not find in our boats is a lot of fairing compound to make up for gaps in spacing that was poorly planned. And this is this a lot of effort goes into this, which is one of the reasons the boats are, are solid. And they're also quieter this way because you won't get the creaking and noise that you'll find in a poorly constructed boat. One of the areas at the boat show that you can inspect the fiberglass work along with the mechanical systems, electrical systems, plumbing systems is the engine room. And my comment is always the same. The first question is, does this boat actually have an engine room? Because so many boats these days are built with a cavity where they shoehorn in a little sail drive. So it tells you an awful lot about the priorities of the builder. I mean, were the priorities maximizing interior capacity? Because that is one of the things that really sells at a boat show is interior space. I also like to point out that this vessel, like others, uh, is built with shaft drive, something I can't imagine an offshore boat being built any other way. And as you can see here in the factory, uh, the boat is resting on its keels while it's being constructed. Another area that I really like to focus on, of course, is the electrical systems. Electrical systems on, on yachts are often an area that demand the most patience from owners uh, because there's just so much density of, of, of equipment on a boat. And everything on a privilege, electrical and plumbing, is at a commercial grade. I don't want to go into a lot of detail about this. This is not intended to be a deep technical video, but let me give you one example. If you look at these bus bars and where these wires are connected, you'll see that the bolts are painted a color, a red color. This type of paint is designed to change color if there's suddenly an overheating event at that connection. This is one of those examples of a benefit that just makes uh, life easier for you as the owner of the boat to inspect your systems. When discussing the electrical installation on the boat, I'd like to point out that we're not using harnesses but instead that we're installing these fiberglass electrical conduits throughout the boat that'll allow you to upgrade and replace and in case some later piece of equipment you wanna to add to the boat. Um, this makes it very accessible, very easy to work with. The problem with these harnesses that get trapped between fiberglass liners is it really does make it difficult to work on the boat. Another area that is done exceptionally well on privilege is the plumbing. It's also commercial grade and it, one of the real benefits, of course, as are these manifolds that basically give you a shutoff valve for dedicated lines to all the various appliances through the boats. I've spoken before on these videos about the time it takes to build a boat like the Privilege. And I constantly get this comment that if perhaps we just hired more people or expanded our facilities, we could build the boats faster. That is simply not the case. The fact is over the last four years, Privilege has virtually doubled its workforce. And yet the 50 footer, that we build takes as long to build today as it did two years ago. And that's because the only way to build it faster would be to adopt processes that would frankly undermine the way we currently build the boat. Again, this video was about those things you don't see, not suggesting that the things you do see shouldn't be well discussed. Line management, the sail plan, anchoring, uh, the davit setup. All these things really matter, but they're obvious and visible when you're visiting a boat. And most people get caught up in floor plans. They get caught up in the decor a little bit. I just wanted to remind you that what really makes a privilege a privilege is those things we spoke about here today. So I hope I see you at the boat show and I look forward to answering those important questions. Talk to you soon. Thank you.